Mr. Minister, ladies and gentlemen, I came along here tonight, privileged and pleasured to attend this audience to meet uh, Mr. Dennis Compton, who's been chosen, as already outlined to you, for the second occasion as the chief sportsman uh, of, the, uh, of Britain. And I have too, as Mr. Dennis Compton said to you, no prepared notes, but news of the wonderful performances put up by the chief guests of honour here tonight. We'll meet again on our cricket fields. We will not be lacking in food. We'll not be lacking in training, but I can tell you this, and this is not off the record, we'll be lacking in the help of Don Bradman, Keith Miller, and one or two others. And I don't know what's going to happen to this great Australian cricket team when you Englishmen again visit our shores. But whatever we do, whatever, whoever te whichever team wins, it'll be based on that British love of true sport. And it's not a question of winning, it's a question of meeting and somebody's got to lose. In conclusion, uh, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Minister, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you kindly for giving me this opportunity to say a few brief word, uh, words and for the many, many courtesies that have been extended to me while I've headed a delegation to Rome to get the games which were awarded, by the way, to Australia in 1956. I thank you very, very much indeed.